What a picturesque setting for a car show. We are taking a stroll down Easy Street and a trip down memory lane for Greenfield Village's annual Motor Muster. Love this car hop service. Some of the car owners have went to great lengths to really recreate the times. Look, they've got race cars, too. So, Jim, Greenfield Village Motor Muster, tell me about the event. Well, this is actually the sister show to the Old Car Festival, which we've been doing here for over 60 years. Wow. And this car, this show features cars from 1933 to 1976, and it's really fun because we can show the transition of the automobile from sort of the horse and buggy looking thing up to the essentially the modern cars that we know today. And it's fun that we conclude the 70s because cars like Gremlins and Pacers and Pintos, which people have saved and preserved, are all here today. Well, those are, you don't typically see those at car shows. Uh, it's becoming more, more popular because they're quirky and becoming a little more, you know, fashionable to mm -hmm. do. You're going to see things that would have belonged to fairly wealthy people, classics if you will, mm -hmm. but you also see a lot of plain four-door sedans, family station wagons, pickup trucks, all kinds of things that people have saved and, and preserved over the years. So about how many cars are here? Uh, we have approximately 750 vehicles total, including motor scooters, bicycles, motorcycles, and four-wheel vehicles. And oh, so then, it's not just cars. Right, and we include commercial vehicles, which are very interesting um, through the period that we represent, and a huge selection of World War II era vehicles. We've hooked up with a group of very enthusiastic uh, military reenactors that find these vehicles, restore them, and we have an amazing selection of stuff out here today. So what kind of events go on at, at the car show? Well, the big thing is what we call our passenger view, where the cars are paraded by historians who talk about them, but we have uh, presentations throughout the day. So the passenger view is like a parade um, all day long parade, yes, if I'm understanding right? We have a reviewing stand and we have automobile historians uh, that specialize in certain, certain eras and they, each car, sometimes in groups, are brought up in front of the stand and people can hear them run and hear about their significant. Now do the cars ever drive around the village? We have a cruise this evening where they're allowed to do some free driving from 7 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. but they, are, they do move around quite a bit as we pull different vehicles out for the passenger review presentations that we do throughout the day. And so does this event typically always take place Father's Day weekend? It is. That's a weekend we've been doing for um, nearly 20 years now and it's a great fit for us, a great thing to do on Father's a Day. A great fit to take bring your dad here for yep. Father's Day. This is a great multi-generational event because uh, the way the cars are displayed we've got grandfathers, even great-grandfathers, uh, talking talking about cars they knew and cars they wanted to have and cars they did have um, and everyone is able to relate to it because they can see the things right in front of them. Well, I can't wait to go take a look around. There's, I'm going to look for some of those quirky cars yeah, you told me about. Yeah, there's tons to see. It's amazing stuff. <laughs> well, thank you so much, thank you. Jim. <laughs>
motorcycles. He made stuff during the war too. And this is an American car, Crosley. Yes. Don't see too many of these around. Pretty unique yes. car to see. Yes, they are. They've even got something for the little ones here. They can come out and try riding the cars around. What's neat about these is that they're not electric. You actually have to pedal them in true historic fashion. You get exercise, yay. <laughs> Okay, so tell me a little bit about the Falcons. Okay. They're not made anymore. No, no, they made them 10 years. Just 10 uh, years. I have a 63, they call it a sports convertible. And they made the convertibles two years. 41,000 miles. 41,000 miles on it. Little six cylinder automatic, so that way I don't have to shift. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I really love the fuzzy dice, but this baby blue beauty was a Chevy Corvair, and it's when they tried their hand for a while at putting the engine in the trunk. Isn't this interior beautiful? It's a two-tone car with two-tone interior. Gorgeous. Love the red steering wheel. So I've been told that the little girls really like the pink cars because they remind them of Barbie doll cars. Another great thing about Motor Muster is that all the old historical buildings are open, including places to get frozen custard. Mmm, yummy. Mm. So remember, every Father's Day weekend at Greenfield Village is the annual Motor Muster. It's a great tradition to start with Dad or just a fun way to get out and enjoy America's greatest history attraction.